Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob With Me. Rob. Bit off. Now then, I am a children's author and illustrator. Maybe you've seen some of my books before. Have you seen this one? This is the first book in the Dinosaur Junior series. It's called Happy Hatch Day. It stars this chap here. Some of you who've been doing my draw along videos, you might recognise him. His name's Gregosaurus. He was the very, he was the subject of the very first Draw With Rob video way back in March. So you might recognise him. This chap here was also the star of one of the early Draw With Rob videos. This is Fred Bear and he features in the book Guru which I have to say might be certainly one of my favourite stories that I've written. So it's a really good one. If you haven't read it, you should check check it out. Now then, we're here today, as per usual, to do a little drawing together. But do you know what? Today is a special episode because today's episode is brought to you in, conjun in conjunction with my friends at Spread a Smile. Now, Spread a Smile is a really cool charity. What they do, they aim to bring a little bit of joy and a little bit of laughter to children who are seriously ill in hospital. So children and their families who have to spend long long periods of time in hospital, they need they need things to do. You know, it's very it can be very boring if you're stuck in hospital for like months at a time. So this charity, they organize all sorts of really kind of fun events, you know, uh, entertain entertainers will go in and keep the children occupied storytellers uh, they will have art initiatives that they bring into the hospital sometimes they even organize outing they organize outings and events that sort of thing but they're a really really fabulous charity and I'm very proud to be bringing you this episode alongside these guides now if you stay tuned to the end I'm going to tell you how you can help you can get involved okay so keep keep tuned to this video right to the end and um, I will let you know how you can get involved with helping my friends at Spread a Smile. Right, in the meantime, shall we draw something together? Now, just in case you haven't seen one of these videos before, this is how it works. People tell me they don't think they're very good at drawing. I say that's a load of rubbish. To be honest, everybody can draw. You might just need a little bit of help with the order. So this is how it works. I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here then I want you to pause the video and you copy exactly what I do. So maybe I'll draw a little circle. Pause the video, you draw the circle. Start me up again, I might draw a little rectangle. Pause the video, draw a little rectangle. I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And by the end, I promise we're gonna end up with something we're very proud of. Now, the animal we are drawing today is a marine animal. That means it's an animal that lives in the sea. And it's quite an unusual looking animal, this one. But I've had lots of requests to draw this guy, we are drawing a narwhal. A narwhal, 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 narwhal. How do you say it? Narwhal, narwhal. Yeah, I'm gonna say narwhal. So, <laughs> a narwhal. So this is, I think it's a, I think it's a kind of whale, but the thing about a narwhal is it has this amazing tusk. It looks like a unicorn horn. I think they're sort of known as the unicorns of the sea, but it has this huge, long kind of tusk I think it's actually like a long sort of spiraled tooth that grows out of them. I think it's only the males that have them, but it grows out of their upper lip. And it sort of looks like this great big sort of horn sticking out the, sticking out the front of their faces <laughs> where their noses are. So they're really quite amazing animals. They live in the Arctic, so they live in very cold water. And um, they're, they're quite rare. It's quite, they're quite, they're not sighted very often. So they're quite a kind of rare animal, which sort of adds to their mysticism. But they're very, very cool looking things. So I thought, because lots of you have asked me to show, show you how to draw a narwhal, I thought that's what I'd do today. So, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, something to draw with. That's all you're gonna need, a bit of color maybe later on. And should we start? Yeah? Now, some of you might have done the world record uh, attempt video with me way back in May, where we drew a whale. Now, this one is gonna have quite a few similarities with the whale. We've done a dolphin as well. We did a dolphin. When did we do the dolphin? That was back in the summer, wasn't it? In July, video 39 was the dolphin. So th these three are sort of, they all, they're all sort of quite similar. So if you've done those, you'll recognize some of my little tactics here, okay? So I stop talking and shall we start drawing? Yes, Rob, let's do it. Okay, so I want you to start roughly in the middle of your page. I want you to draw a very small sort of semicircle like that. Nice, easy start, yeah? 
Then from the right hand side of your semicircle, I want you to draw a dead straight line, almost to the top of your page, like that. Can you guess which bit of the novel this is going to be? <laughs> it's not really hard, is it? Then I want you to draw another straight line from here. Guess what? It's going to a point. That's right, this is our narwhal's tusk. We're starting with that, pointing straight upwards. Okay, then, about a centimetre up from the bottom, on the right-hand side, I want you to draw a shape, just comes out like that and curves round. Like that. And we're going to keep going down towards the bottom of our page. And we're going to start turning around here and stop about there. So it's a sort of backwards S shape that we're drawing. Okay, the next thing to do, we're going to go at right angles. We're going to stick straight out and curve up like that. And now this is a fun bit. This You might remember this from the dolphin and the whale drawings that we did. I think I described it as going down like a, one of those those um, bumpy slides at the playground, okay? Because that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to go over the top of our slide, go down, take a little bump, and then go down again and end up close to this corner here. Then imagine we're doing that in reverse. We're going to go up, along, up again, and over the top, like that. So down the slide, and then climb back up the slide on the other side. Then I want you to come down curve around here and go back towards this this uh, corner area here but we're going to stop just short of it like that and you can see we have drawn a whale's tail like that this is a fun bit now because we're going to come down we're sort of going to follow the curve but we're going to move away from it a bit there we're going to come right out head back up our page curl around and we're going to join up level with where we started to the right of the tusk there and that is going to be our narwhal's body let's add a front fin shall we let's add a little fin here so what we're going to do is a sort of v shape slightly off to the side and with a bit of a curvy bottom like that and that's going to be the left hand front fin of our narwhal and the right one we're going to do sticking out here so a similar sort of shape but at a slightly different angle. So our narwhal is sort of, it's gonna be underwater, but sort of heading up towards the surface, if you see what I mean. Let's wake our narwhal up, shall we? Let's give him or her, him, because I think it's only the males. Did I say that? It's only the males that have tusks, so this is a him. Let's give him an eye. We're gonna do a nice circle around about there, just right and down a bit from the tusk. And let's give him another eye, shall we? Why not? He deserves two eyes. We'll put it over here, like that. Perfect. I'm just gonna change pens, slightly thinner pen. Let's add our eyes. Should we do him looking towards us? So in order for our null to be looking towards us, the, the, eye, the pupil in the eye needs to be slightly to the right and slightly down to be looking at us. And the same over here, maybe even more so. Ooh, not sure he is looking at us now. It's a bit cross-eyed. Let's see if I can sort this out. Oh, well, well you know, sort of looking towards us. Should we give, give him some eyelashes? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Let's add a little smiley mouth here. Just below the tusk, so slightly right of centre. A lovely little smiley mouth. We're nearly done now. I'm just going to make that a bit pointier there with my thinner pen. There we go. Not a million miles away from being able to colour now. The only thing we're going to do, we're going to add, they have a sort of, they're colouring, they have a sort of tummy area. So we're going to add, I'm using a thinner pen obviously as you can see, and I'm just going to add a little curve. It comes up from this fin here, goes around and hits the side there. Then we're going to do it carrying on past the fin down here, like that. So we sort of separated this little tummy area off. Oh, looks nice. Should we add some eyebrows? 
make our fellow here extra happy, add an eyebrow, a little way above the eye, remember that's my little trick. Do the same here, just a little eyebrow there. Let's add a few bubbles around the tusk. So what I want you to do, a few different size, size circles for bubbles. Maybe a little dotted line like that to make it look like one of the bubbles has popped. Different sizes, just mix it up a bit. Add a couple of these things. It just adds a nice little sort of magical detail around the tip of the tusk. You can even just add a few little dots here and there. It's just nice to get a variety of scale in there to make it look slightly magical. Okay, little bubbly bit. Let's add a few bubbles around the tail because as he's zooming through the water, he's creating a few bubbles in his wake. There we go. Again, different size circles, couple of dots, maybe a couple of those little pop bits, just to add some texture. A couple of bigger ones. But they, you know, you just play around with it a little bit. I'm sort of doing it in a bit of a shape coming away from the tail, making they're slightly smaller as they get further away from the tail, just to give that impression of a bit of movement. Let's add a few around this fin here as well. You don't need to colour in all the sea around our narwhal. Sometimes it's enough just to add a few little details here and there. I might add some more when I use my blue pencil to colour in later on. But there we go, a very simple drawing of a narwhal. Ah, oh, I should... Do you remember I said the tusk is like a sort of corkscrew shaped um, tooth, basically, like a spiral tooth. So to make it look spirally, what you do, do you remember we did the unicorn? When we did the unicorn, we added some sort of diagonal, slightly curved lines on our unicorn horn. Well, it's exactly the same with our narwhal's tusk. Just add some diagonal lines all the way up. There we go. And that suggests it's sort of spiraling. And also what's cool is means you can colour it in all sorts of different colours when it comes to the colouring, which is what we're going to do right now. The rules are, as always, there are no rules. Your narwhal can be any colour you like. Pink, blue, green, yellow, purple, whatever you want. You can do it spotty, star-shaped, star-shaped, I mean starry pattern, not star-shaped. <laughs> that would be weird. Stripy, just one colour, different colour tummy, anything you want. I think actually they're sort of a bit speckly. I might add a few little speckly bits to the top of mine. Um, but you do whatever you want. I am going to go into super speed mode, as per usual, as I colour mine in. So I'll see you back here in about 30 seconds. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So there we go, there's my coloured in narwhal. I've stuck to mainly blues, a little bit of sort of goldy browny sort of colours in the tusk there. I like him. He looks like a nice chap. What do you think? So I sign it. Let's add my little signature down here, a little rob with a kiss. There we go. Don't forget to sign your drawings. We need to let everybody know who's created these beautiful works of art. And the next thing to do obviously is to get your grown up to take a picture. Um, and then you can post it on social media using this hashtag, Draw with Rob. That way I'll get to see it. Hopefully your drawing might make the grid. If you're doing this at school, get your teacher to take a picture of your whole class holding up your drawings of your narwhals. And, um, and then if they post it using the hashtag Class of the Week, as well as the Draw with Rob hashtag, then who knows, your class might get chosen as the Class of the Week and then you get a little certificate. Now then, my little narwhal here is very smiley. Speaking of smiles, do you remember the charity that I mentioned right at the beginning? Spread a smile. Um, I told you how you could get involved, didn't I? Um, especially this Christmas, um, where they will be organising lots of entertainment and, um, you know, delivering smiles, toys, books, activities, treats, all that sort of thing for hospitalised children, 
you know, with terminal illnesses and um, serious illnesses, and they really, really do need that smile to be spread. Um, if you um, if you go to this website, www.spreadasmile.org, have a look through the information, and there will be some details on there about how you can help, how you can get involved. And I think it's really, really important that we all help spread a little smile, spread a little bit of joy, especially this Christmas, and do what we can to help those in need. So if you can help out, I'd be very, very grateful. Okay, I think that's just about all from me today. Um, I just want to say thank you for drawing along with me. I hope you've had a lovely time. I certainly have. I want you to take care of yourselves and I'm going to see you very soon for another episode of Draw With Rob. In the meantime, take care everyone. Bye-bye. everyone just when you thought you got rid of me here I am popping up again at the end of your video I just wanted to very quickly tell you about this it's the draw with Rob at Christmas activity book lots of you have got the other activity book I know and there's more fun in this book here and it's all festive themed so there's loads and loads of things for you to do we've got an arty advent for you to start off with where there's something for you to do every single day we've got blank Father Christmas letter pages. We've got Christmas deck, make your own Christmas decorations, make your own Christmas cards, lots of coloring, lots of draw alongs. Look, here we go, snowman draw along. Loads and loads and loads of things to do. Look, you can even make your own little box for Christmas gifts. And I have got you covered when it comes to thank you cards too. Look, here, I'm gonna get there. Oh, look, I forgot, nearly forgot to tell you this. It's one of my favorite bits. Christmas cracker jokes. You can cut all of these out roll them up and put them around the table at Christmas time and all your family and friends who are with you, they can each tell a joke and it's got little sh charades and it's got even got like little kind of guess the sketch ideas for you to draw along with each other over Christmas dinner. So listen, I think you're gonna like this. That's what I wanted to show you. Thank you cards, look mums and dads. Ready-made thank you card templates. No excuse not to write those thank you cards, is there? So listen, check it out. It's available wherever you get your books from. Online, in person, even better. If you can find it in a bookshop, even better. It's, how much does it cost? 6 99 not too expensive. Perfect stocking filler. Actually perfect, I would say, to give to somebody on the 1st of December so they can enjoy it all the way through the build up to Christmas. Anyway, I hope you like it. I'm gonna see you soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care, everyone.